Hello everyone, welcome to Majesty's House of Music. I'm Emmanuel. I'm going to be giving you a lesson today on ideas on how you can voice your two chord in any kind of song that you're playing. Huh? Okay. The two chord. Okay. Now, in uh, the scale of any key, um, the two chord is usually played as a minor chord. I hope you understand that, that the one chord is a major chord. The two chord is played always as a minor chord. Minor chord. In the scale of F sharp, for example, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp or F, then back to F sharp. Okay, that is the scale. So the two chord is usually played as a minor chord, and this case is F flat or G sharp minor. Okay, that's the two chord. I did a lesson uh, already on other voicing ideas, like how you voice your six and other chords. But today I'm focusing on the two chord, that minor chord, and what ideas can we use to give it a better voicing so that we are not just playing it as the basic minor chord, okay? For example, if I'm on the key of C, the two chord is D minor, okay? Chord number two. If I'm in the key of G, my two chord is A minor, okay? So the first idea, how we voice this uh, chord is to add the seventh. So for example, I'm in the key of F sharp. Huh? The two chord is G sharp minor. If you want the minor seventh, you add the F sharp note, okay? So that becomes your two chord, okay? Chord number two. Now, what can you do on your left hand, huh? Okay? You can play the G sharp, the D sharp, and the G sharp, okay? With that G sharp minor seven. Or you can add the B on top. So G sharp, D sharp, and a B, a B. So it will need you to stretch a little bit, okay? Can do that stretch on your left hand that will be good okay so that is uh, a way I can voice that six chord or the two chord sorry okay by adding that seven okay now uh, remember that you can also juggle with inversions huh? so I can play that minor seventh in a reduced form using this inversion okay Remember the notes, uh, G sharp, B, D sharp, and F sharp. I can play it in this inversion, okay? D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and B, okay? Play around with the inversions also, okay? Now, apart from adding the minor seventh, huh? Uh, we can also voice this chord using the four chord, okay? The four chord. What is the four chord? If I'm in the key of F sharp, huh? one, two, three, four. That is B major. The four chord, remember, is usually played as a major chord. So in this scale, that will be B major, okay? So when I'm playing that too, G sharp, I can play it with a four, which is B. Because in essence, what I'm playing here is just a G sharp minor seventh chord, okay? If you look at my right hand is playing a four, my left hand is playing the root, which is G sharp, okay? For example, if I'm in the key of C, the same concept will be applied. The four chord is F major and the minor on the left, okay? So one, six. So let's voice it with the four. One. 
put a 4. Okay? So let's go back to that F sharp, okay? So 1 to the 2. Sorry, I'm doing the wrong thing in the key of C. I'm, I'm playing the 2 chord with the 4. 2 with the 4. Okay? 2 is D, the 4 is F. So the same thing in F sharp. 2 is G sharp, the 4 is B. Now, let's go deeper into this. Huh? We can play this 4 as a major 7th. Huh? So if you want a B major 7th, what do you add? The B flat note, okay? That's a B major 7th. And on the left, I'm playing my 2, okay? So that becomes a good voicing on my 2 chord. If I'm in the key of C, for example, the 4 chord is F major 7th with the 2 on the left, which is D, okay? So 1, C major, 2, then to the 4, F major 7th, maintain the same, then the 5, G major. Back to the 1, C major, to the 2, Using that voicing of the 4 as a major 7th, then to the 4. Same thing in F sharp. 1, F sharp major. 2, B major 7th. Okay. To the 4, B major 7. So it's the same chord. Yeah? So remember, you can voice your two with the four major seventh on the right, okay? Okay. Now, you can now begin playing around with the voicings of this four. For example, um, I can play this four in this inversion. Huh? It's a B major seventh, okay? But I can play it here in this inversion. This is a B major seventh inverted. Huh? This is B major, then you add that B flat, you get B major seventh. Okay, so I can use that voicing with the two. So from the one to the two to the four, B major, then to the five, C sharp. See that voicing? One. F sharp major, then to the two, B major seventh with G sharp on the left, then to the four, okay? Now, something else I can do here, I can leave out that B, the root, okay? So that I just play it like this. So what do you see here? These are six chord in the key of F sharp, huh? D sharp minor, okay? So that means I can voice this two chord with a six chord on my right hand. Not just the four, but the six chord, which is D sharp minor. So anytime I'm playing a two, instead of playing the minor two itself, I can play a minor six, which is D sharp minor. And I can play it in any inversion. So that's one way to voice your two chord. Play it with a six. On the right hand. If I'm in the key of C and I'm going to the 2, which is D minor, instead of playing the D minor, I can play the A minor. So 1, okay, then to the 4, then to the 5, 1, 2, 4, 5. Play to the six. Let's go back to F sharp. Two. For example, that six can be played as a minor seven. D sharp minor seven. With the two on the left. And remember the voicing on the left? You can play it like that with that B. And in this minor seventh, I want you to see the four major seventh also, okay? 
see that B major 7? Still almost the same chord as the 6, okay? The minor, 6 minor 7. Now, um, I want you to look at another voicing. How else we can voice the 2, okay? You can voice it to the 1, okay? The one itself, F sharp. For example, in the key of F sharp, the F sharp major chord. So one, chord number two. I'm maintaining my one, my F sharp on my right hand, okay? Only the left hand, the bass note is telling me that we are playing a two. And then the four, B major. The five, C sharp. One, F sharp major. The two, maintain F sharp. Okay, so the two can be voiced with the one. Now we can also voice it with any form of the one. For example, the one major seventh, like this. F sharp major seventh, with the two on the left. See that? F sharp major seventh with the two. The G sharp on the left. I'm just adding the D sharp, okay? So one, two, four, B major, five, C sharp. I can play also that F sharp major seventh in any inversion. For example, I can play it here. F sharp. Major seventh with the F, okay? So one F sharp two F sharp major seventh and I can play it without the root which is F sharp so that I'm only playing C F and B flat. So one Now, if you want to learn more of these concepts, as I always say, get my full-length piano courses. You can get in touch with me on WhatsApp or email, and I'll guide you on how to order the full-length courses that cover these concepts in different keys. If you want a course in the key of F sharp, C, G, G sharp, C sharp, I take more time to cover these concepts in those courses. We have courses for intermediate and advanced levels, more advanced voicings even than what you are seeing here. So if you're interested to learn more from us, consider ordering the full-length courses. Check the links in the description below this video. You'll find my contacts there and also a link to my website where you can look at all the other courses available. Then just get in touch with me, tell me which course you'd like to get. My courses are also available on Skillshare. The advanced courses are also available on Skillshare. I'll put all the links in the description below the video for those of you who want that detailed training. Now, I've given you ideas on how you can voice your two. Uh, apply these ideas. As I've said in summary, you can voice it with a minor seven. You can voice it using the four on your right. You can voice it using the six on your right. You can voice it using the one on your right. The two. The two, but with the one on the right. And I've said you can play that one as a major seventh or as the basic one, okay? You can even play it as a sus two. So one, two, four, five. Sweet love for me, and I will open up my heart. May the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands, and I will always sing on when the love came down. I could sing. you've learned something from 
that lesson, apply it in your playing, subscribe to my channel if you've never subscribed so that you never miss out on any of the lessons that we post. See you in the next class.